Hi. Hi. Yeah. Rumi, Jonathan. I'm Jonathan Heine, founder of URLO Foods. This is Rumi. She is a famous ancient Persian poet, and she's written some amazing stuff. But we're going to talk about GMO. So a lot of people asked us, because I run a company that's GMO free and gluten free and sugar free. So a lot of people have asked us why there's a problem with GMO and I've been doing this over and over again and Rumi, Rumi, has asked me to do, yes, hello, has asked me to do, ju yes, hello, just something about why GMO isn't so good for our bodies. So I did a whole thing on um, Instagram Live talking about the history, I've got something on Facebook Live, I don't know, it's lots of social media that people tell us what to do. So, uh, here's the thing. GMO means genetically modified. So what do they modify? Generally what they do, historically, was they modified the protein, which was gluten in wheat, and gluten is protein, and that's why people are gluten intolerant, in part. <clears throat> and when you uh, ingest an unidentified protein, your immune system, which is designed to attack unidentified protein, starts to attack. Now, I've used this uh, analogy before, but you sort of say, well, if it's going to attack it, why don't I pass out when I eat a piece of bread? You pass out when you have too much wine, but that's a different conversation. So why do I pass out? Don't I pass out when I eat a piece of bread? It's modified a little bit. But if you keep on eating that piece of bread over and over and over again, and then our whole food chain has wheat all over it, we're bombarding our immune systems ever so slightly over and over and over again. And so I talk about the cat and the rubber band, which is not a Cat Stevens song, but it sounds like it. Nor an Aesop's fable. If you take a rubber band and you flick a cat's neck with it, the cat's going to kind of jump and run away. You do it once, cat you know, comes back, not a big deal. You do it five, six, seven times, cat doesn't want to have anything to do with you. <clears throat> if you do it 20 times a day, even if it's just lightly, eventually when somebody comes along and puts his or her finger on the cat at that point, the cat's going to swipe you with his claws. And that's exactly what happens to our immune systems with GMO. Now, it gets worse. Okay, so in the late 20th century, uh, a large company whose name begins with an M uh, started taking genetically modified bacteria and winding it into the DNA of agriculture, corn, uh, soy, uh, even uh, radicchio. And uh, that means that when you eat GMO uh, products, you're actually eating genetically modified bacteria. And basically, it's kind of a superbug. And so it's very good at mutating and, and it gets into the soil. And then this company with an M created this thing called Terminator Seeds, which uh, means that if a farmer buys their seeds, they're activated by the insecticide that's made by the company. And if they don't use the insecticide, then the plants don't grow. And when the seeds drop to the ground, there's no new generation, and sometimes the soil dies with it, and it gets in the water, and it gets in the air, and you're eating it. So not only are you eating stuff that your immune system wants to attack because the protein is modified, but it also contains a pretty powerful neurotoxin, um, and it, it is a plant that is designed for the next generation to die and not be able to reproduce. Also, what they found with GMO is that it is, in fact, more insect repellent than non-GMO. Now, let's talk about bugs for a minute. So, <clears throat> bugs are basically DNA sensors with uh, a reproductive system, eggs, and a kind of primitive digestive system. They actually don't digest. They sort of throw up on the food and then eat it. Um, so, it's like having children. But... Um, if the bugs, who are actually willing to fly on top of cow dung and hang out and eat it, right? So they're perfectly happy to eat shit. They don't like the plants, so it's not good enough for them. Why is it good enough for us? So that's why we really ought to think about whether or not we want to eat GMO. I hope that was succinct and understandable. You can reach me at yourlovedfoods.com and you are welcome to come and Give us your comments, give us your comments on Instagram, and I hope this was helpful.